So yeah, this, this week's uh, trio, I thought I'd already done this, maybe I have. I don't think I have, but it's Peach, which is a kind of very famous note. Now this could kind of sometimes, maybe I've done Osmanthus I think, can sway a bit Osmanthus-y, it can, Divanery can be quite peachy, but it's um, it can come in different ways, it can be quite a syrupy note. It can be quite a fresh kind of splash of peach water. It can also be quite a horrific hairspray note in, in some fragrances. So it is it is a, a, a very well used note. Um, and it's for me, it's very pleasant. I love real peaches. I like nectarines, but not as much and, um, and all of that. Um, so this is, you know, the score of these trios. It's just three. It's an indie one, it's a niche one, and it's a designer one. Them words don't really mean anything, but yeah. I've just picked one where Peach is, if not the main note, one of the predominant notes. So first up for Peach is one from Olfactive O, and that's called Fruity. Now all of the, this doesn't sound like it is. They're, they're quite a vivid smelling, greener, out and about fruits. You know, fruits growing here and there. The strawberry and raspberry, but again, it's the bush. It's that kind of greener smell with the sweetness of the fruit. And running through it is a peach. And the peach kind of gives this warmth, like a river of, of peach. It's not overly syrupy or, or whatever. It's most certainly not hairspray. It's just kind of a, a peach shoe, if you like. Um, it's, it's that kind of feel around it and that's that's mainly where the, the sweetness comes from is is the peach um i don't know how to get out of here i always get lost don't I? um and it's it's quite like i say it's a delicate touch of it and it's all delicately done and i think i like this one so much i am quite a fan of the old fruitier fragrances but in this it's um it's all delicate and green and, and real and and like being in the fruit bushes and the fruit trees etc so yeah from uh, Olfactive O is fruity. Funish is one I've spoken about a lot and it's one of my favourite from Killian and it's one of them very underrated ones and again this one is the best way of describing it is very watery um, it's like a, a nice river a warm river with uh, flowers kind of rolling down it and um, green everywhere around it and little fruit trees which have dropped their fruits into the water and it's a warm spring day and you kind of get that that warm watery peach where it's perhaps not not the fruit itself it's more the kind of um, scentedness of the, of the fruit running through this river um, and it's, it's really it's an absolutely gorgeous one and it's very underrated and it's not one that people talk about a lot because again it's not it's not massively in your face strong over the top um, rich sweet peachy one it's just a, a delicate kiss of a peach it's the it's that the water the waves running over you and the smell of peach and the the smell of spring flowers all around you it's very lovely so that's flower of immortality from Killian and finally is the designer one and it couldn't be anything else but this could it really it's um, bitter peach from Tom Ford this is more to me it's around the kind of more divanery syrupy sweet side of peach it's it's very peachy obviously there is a bit of a sharper peach in there there's a, there's a kind of a greener peachiness about it. But it ultimately, there is other stuff in it. You know, blah, 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 woods, moss, blah, blah. But it's obviously all about the peach. And um, it's just such an enjoyable one. It's It's got the right amount of sweetness. It's quite balanced. It's, it's, it's very enjoyable. Um, you know, the name, you can, get, you can look that up yourself. But it's, it's kind of that naughty name. But it doesn't, I, I, well, I say I'm not really too aware that, that the flavour of, of that has anything to do with the smell of, of this one. But this one is, it is gorgeous. Uh, there's nothing else that, I'm not going to waffle on for the sake of it. It's fruity, divanery, syrupy, boozy peach with greeny peach, slightly sharper peach. It's wonderful. 
bit of peach from Tom. So yeah, I am aware these uh, little trio things are quite, they're always quite brief, maybe too brief sometimes, I don't know. But my Wednesday videos, this is what I want. Punchy, brief, to the point. All of the fragrances I ever mention, I think, pretty much, are spoken by me in a lot more detail elsewhere. They are ones that I generally review to death, apart from indie. Nobody talks about indie because it doesn't get views on YouTube. Anyway, I'm not going to rant. Um, and they're on my Instagram as well. Don't go check. This is not an advert. Don't do things like that. But yeah, what's your favourite peach? Um, what sort of peach do you like? Is there anyone out there who does like the kind of 90s hairspray peachy kind of things? Um, obviously people did because loads of people bought them and I suppose they're nostalgic of that period, aren't they? And then them kind of hairspray notes do exist in modern perfumery. I've smelt a couple from a particular house and, and, and whatnot and people adore them, absolutely adore them. So yeah. Uh, what's your favourite peach fragrance? Uh, what's your favourite fruit in fragrances? Alright folks, thanks. Bye.